gonna actually try to do the uh, season veil <laughs> challenge yet again. We need to accept 100 refugees and build 10 agricultural buildings. Sounds good. Then stage two is refugee settlement of 300 and a population of 400. And then the third goal, refugee settlement, 400 population of 500. Happiness satisfied. Can we do it? Before I started recording, I sorted out a couple of advisors, which we might be able to, you know, they might be able to help us. Sanshi, what is this guy's thing? Increased production of timber yard. Uh, not yet. So Guanha. Each refugee camp. That could be pretty good. So I'm going to grab Guanha. Uh, Guanheng is uh, when a refugee dies. Other refugee survival time is increased. Let's grab him as well. And then there's a couple of gold increases. But they're very expensive. Uh, and then Sanshi. Who we could probably do with as well. But. Increases the production of Timber Yard. Do we? Do we? Or do we? Because I think. Do we start with a Timber Yard? Yeah. Let's dispatch him. Why not? Uh, and then add the journey of a thousand miles. And then we get to choose from three sets of of blueprints. This is new with um, two different things. We actually get three different plans instead of one. I think that was different before. We can also just completely swap out those these uh, plans for another lot by just spending 500 uh, uh Ducats like that. Uh, but let's go through them. We've got a bamboo grove, a weaving house. That's good. Weaving house and bamboo grove. Uh, that is wood, right? Uh, then we've got a lantern house. Uh, so that is a really neat. Oh, lantern workshop, sorry. Uh, and we would need a lantern house. Which is actually over here. Unfortunately. Um, but we might get that at some other point. Or we could choose it by accessing buildings from Hongyu. Maybe we just take the, the kind of bog standard orchard. And, and vegetable shop. Because that's food. And food is good. And also we could get some more money out of that. Yeah, let's just go for the kind of boring stuff. This is um, one of the kind of things that I usually take. I usually do take an orchard and a veg shop. Uh, it's the refugees. They're refugees coming in. And every time we choose a new challenge, we also get a new kind of uh, game mechanic. And that is what really beats the, the heck out of me. Um, so there you go. Situation is, and I think that should say tough. Uh, there are too many refugees outside, and if you don't accept any, their anger will be inevitable. A refugee relief requires a lot of resources, and settling them down needs a lot of gold. Uh, let's not accept any. Let's just um, get our town in order before we do anything. <laughs> What can we do? Let's assign him. Assign him. And assign him. Yeah, let's just assign all of those guys. I think the first thing we need to do is to get all of our ducks in a row in regard to our resources. Uh, so I think what we do is we drop down uh, a well.
Uh, so yeah, we'll let that that build. What else do we need? We could do with. Let's sort out our cloth situation as well. Damn it, we've just got cotton fields, of course. Yeah, we need to make sure that we cover every piece of... I'm going to stick him, stick the cotton field there. Uh, and then I'm going to... Just put a road next to it, just to take up as much kind of space as possible. Just so that refugee camps don't spawn in. Because uh, those kill me quite quite regularly. <laughs> um, also, I think what we do is... We... Drop down a blessing tree, just because those are really helpful in regard to... In regard to money. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to drop that down there. Uh, and then yeah, let that build in. Uh, and then food we need to sort out as well. I think maybe... Uh, will one be enough? Orchard and then veg shop. Veg shop is great because it is... It is a... Where is it? Oh, I guess it's in gold, right? Veg shop? Yeah, veg shop over there. Just going to drop down some roads uh, and then pop in... Pop in a couple of orchards as well. Uh, just because, you know, we need to get 10 agricultural buildings. Hey, we've already accepted 50 refugees. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Yeah, and then we'll stick down a... Where was it? It was... In commerce, yeah. Veg shop. Just because that's going to be good for money. Uh, and then uh, I'm just going to expand or pull down the mud row. Month end surplus is 150. I mean, that's low, obviously. We do need to get our money sorted pretty sharpish. How far are we away from getting our courier station up and running? 42 days, so can we survive basically for 42 days? That's that's the um, problem there. Yeah, and our cloth hasn't, hasn't turned to positive. So we're going to need... Uh, another cotton field. Yeah, I mean, this is basically how I'm playing the game all the way through at the moment. It's not having access to any sodden, uh, you know, cloth production buildings. Let's just pop another one down there. Uh, is that? No, I'll just move that forward. Uh, the other thing we need to take care of is watchtowers. However, I've kind of I've kind of made it so that uh, you can choose this in the talent tree. You can turn your advisor residence, which you get to start with, into a crime prevention tower. So that is like a kind of free. Uh, watchtower that we've got there uh, and then we can just move this watchtower around or scrap it all together uh, I mean we're not going to scrap it just because uh, 
I'm going to move this one to there for now. Yeah, I mean, we need to not spend. Hey, man, that's not too bad. Abundant all the way through. We are getting a fairly decent clip of, uh, of uh, gold there. Uh, our food is doing okay. It is in positive, but... I mean, it's not perfect. We do have to build three more industrial structures. Just to give us, um, like, an overwhelming advantage with the food. I'm going to stick down uh, another row. Everything is starting to be in positive. We're approaching our... Uh, the positive with our buildings uh, yeah I think we just drop down another orchard wait until this uh, flying machine goes past uh, because I mean we need 10 either way to score the victory how far are we around 30 days Okay, so do we drop down another veg shop? I think we do. Uh, again, just because we have the extended chain, we can create chains and that will lead to like an increase of value and it all gets factored into to all of this. Because also our food has, yeah, rebuild that. That's why it went down. Refugees in season fair will perish in two days. That ain't good. So, um, I think we need to go back in. We will bring in 30. Uh, we're also going to need to settle a bunch as well. Let's just take the lowest one. It's 20,000 ducats each time. Or do we just go 50,000? While well, we have already got five that we need to settle. Sure. Do it. Do it. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, how much time again? Uh, yeah, that's something we need to be checking all the darn time is uh, when is our trucking station going to be ready? 26 days, so less than a month. That's not too bad. Uh, the parish is not good because then everybody's just going to start getting really angry. Uh, I'm going to grab another blessing tree just to sort out our money situation a bit more. It's culture, right? Yeah. Blessing tree. That is the DLC unit, the DLC building, which is pretty great. Uh, definitely worth picking up. Uh, look at that. A bunch of refugee camps have cropped up. Uh, and of course, cut off the road darn it uh, are they covered by the watchtower yes they are thankfully uh, this isn't however by the look of it if we get any that crop up here let's just let it build in and then we'll move it onto a road 50 refugees are starving and then tumuli and all of that nonsense. Detain refugee survival time has increased by three days. That's great. Uh, so, 
Uh, we also need to build our morgue as a matter of urgency. That's something I completely forgot to do. I'm going to stick it as far away as possible as well. Just because I don't want the haunted malice. You can be haunted by like Chinese ghosts. Just undo a couple of tumuli. Oh, just so we don't run out of money. We're down to under a hundred. We've gone forward a couple more days. What we are seeing here is we're starting to settle guys and once they're settled there the refugee camps turn into residences and that's pretty fantastic. Uh, we need a market that's the next thing we need. There's our morgue it's been built that's fantastic. Uh, and yeah we need to make sure that these guys feel safe. Let's uh, grab Uh, another 30. A magistrate. With proper planning, people at Season Vale are, are living. They're happy. There are still over a thousand refugees outside of our moat, and people have volunteered to offer supplies to them, which may allow refugees to survive for another 55 days. That's awesome. I think we're in a good spot, and yeah, we've actually finished we've achieved the um stage one goal and um, so the game is paused again we are on stage two now we need to grab a population of 400 now we've currently got a population of 230 and 300 refugees settled we have only got 14 days before our courier station is open and i think things will be a lot easier for us once that does open um so we are doing our stage two goal we do need 300 settled uh refugees and 400 population now i'm gonna get rid of another tumulus Everything is looking good. The refugees are feeling tranquil. Okay. Uh, should we accept another 30? I'm going to accept another 30, guys. Why the heck not? And it does look like we will need... Some more water. Uh, the blueprints which we took before. One was an, uh, an inn. One was an escort agency. I am tempted to do that. Just because that's going to be really good money. Uh, so I'm going to drop that there. And so that was the inn, right? Uh, and then the escort agency. Let's turn it around that way. I'm going to drop that down there. Yeah, I need water and cloth. Um, is there anything we can do about cloth? Did we accept anything else? Yeah, we got the cloth shop and the weaving mill, didn't we? So... How much time is left? 12 days. Okay. I say we get down to 10 then. Refugees feeling stable. Okay. That's not too bad. I mean, they're less. That, that's it's slightly worse. Can we afford? No, probably not. Are we down anything? Yeah, money. 
Uh, our money situation is going up, which is nice because our escort agency and inn have dropped in. I'm just going to try to link those up real quick. There you go. Uh, okay, so Sanshi, who is one of our guys that we've taken with us, he wants a pay rise. So, uh, I'm just going to increase it to normal. I'll increase it to 1500 just that might just stop him whining for a bit longer great um although you know we didn't get any bonuses and the only other thing i can think is as well we could just um put our guys uh like make them idle we build ourselves uh where is wood there uh, we build a wood mill and a paper mill. Uh, not a... Yeah, wood mill, man. What the smegging cause? Yeah, it does produce wood fine. Bookstore, calligraphy store, I guess. Hey, we do have a... Yeah, and that's something else I found as well. Is that you can actually click on the various things. Like on the... On the industrial chain. Look, so if I wanted to build a lantern house. Just click it there. And there, there is the thing. <laughs> this game is so cool. I love it. Seven days. So we've got a week before everything sort of... I'm hoping it gets a bit better. Because, I mean, we have nine refugees to set on. Ah, nuts to it. Let's, uh, let's, uh, settle three of them. Nuts to it. Yeah, look, that goes down, and we're back down to average instead of abundant, but we are doing pretty well with gold. And look, everybody's gone up to happy again. That's fantastic. Just make sure everybody is in within the... Uh, they're not. Um, so very quickly, we're going to pop down uh, a watchtower. Okay, let's pop it there. Uh, and yeah, we need to build up, uh, repair this uh, fall and down nonsense. Yeah, I mean, at least people aren't just like carking it. Hey! Awesome, our courier station has been built. So, arranged transportation. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to put a very quick save in. And just because I've never used one of these before. So, arranged transport, East Plain to Season Vale. Let's just get the maximums. Look at that. 60k of everything. Give me everything, man. Oh, actually, we can't take gold. That's a shame. But, I mean, I guess we could sell some stuff at the market. Do it. Chew. And, indeed, chew. Let's just drop that down. I know we'll end up with uh, with some more resources once our land transport gets here, but it takes a while, and I don't want to just like accidentally 
cock anything up. And we do need more money, however, we need more money coming in. Just to keep everybody... Oh, that's where it takes. Yeah, 60 days, so... That's awesome. It is going to take 60 days to get here. Uh, and yeah, market. That's what I was going to do. Um, where is it? Where is it? There. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't, you know, upset the apple cart at all. Thankfully, we've gone into positive territory there. Uh, and, but our cloth production is down. Yeah, I think we're basically just taking care of any kind of... Uh, any losses there just making sure our balances stay up and um, so yeah our marker has dropped in which is nice and I think what we also do is we grab the bank as well uh, I think I might put a save in again just so <laughs> again I don't accidentally up you know upend the apple cart and just lead to a, like a massive death spiral Let's put our bank right on the, right next to the tracks there. Yeah, and then we also need to sort out our cloth, our clothing industry. Uh, so yeah, cloth shop. And a weaving mill. So weaving mill. Interesting. I'm going to pop in another cotton field as well. Just so I can do the industry chain from the beginning. Uh, and then, yeah, the cloth shop. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to extend the road out a little further. Uh, so let's go in there. He's going to evaluate our credit situation. Uh, well, fetch water for Widow Zhang. Help Hong, Hong Yu, the spring, where, the spring wind gal, to cross the road. What? <laughs> Free to teach a dumb to sing please the public bank totaling uh, your public credit is happy yes congrats on obtaining a £130,000 loan amount so shall we just grab it grab everything grab all the monies and then we'll just be paying it back I guess forever do it do it do it yeah we've got abundant abundant amounts of cash okay we've got food increased that's awesome uh, i think we could also do with some wood and some ore coming in as well i think that's probably something we've got to do Let's try it like, like that instead. Uh, and that's great. Another bunch of people have turned into residences. I'm going to get rid of these final two pieces of tumulus. We've settled down another, well, 20 units now. Refugees will... Carket in three days. How far away are we with our shipment? We're halfway there. It's about 20, 20 well, it's 26 days. 
Let's accept a bunch more people. Settle three more. Uh, can we get rid of Sanshi yet? <sighs> yes, thankfully. Okay, so that should mean that our money situation might be okay. However, I was actually going to construct a wood, what's that, a wood chain. I'm going to make one more well, actually. Let's pop it there. <laughs> uh, I do like popping them in wherever. Uh, I mean, we're still at 600 plus on our gold. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. Yet again, and I'm going to drop down another blessing tree just because those are really, really good DLCs. And they don't actually need to be connected to a road uh, because they're not part of any industrial chain. So they can just be plopped wherever. Uh, I'm going to drop one just there just so we don't get any more guys. Uh, like refugee camps. I'm going to drop it behind me bank. Why not a blessing tree behind a bank? That would make sense. Uh, we also need to check out our watchtower situation because all of these buggers have started dropping in like that. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Let's plot one down like that. Um, I think we also need to put one down over here somewhere. Right, because uh, I guess not because of our advisor building, that's not factored in. Fine, how many days left? Okay, 12 days. So, I think with that said, we Accept another 30 refugees. Fine. And we also need to settle some refugees. There are six, so we can do two lots of three. Do it. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, we have actually completed that task. Look, our population has risen up. We just are falling behind with our refugee settlement. Uh, there you go. We are back up to satisfied or down to satisfied or something like that. But we get a bunch of extra pops. So 25 days. That's nice. Has anything fallen into disrepair? No. What are we down? We're down water again. Okay, yeah, look, we are now positive. Uh, but that's okay. I do want, I do want loads of wells. And I mean, we do have, we do have a fair amount of tasty cash coming in. Uh. I wouldn't mind looking. What is the uh, next one? Yeah, population. Man, we would have already have. Yes, yeah, refugee settlement. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we need to crack on with that. Six more days. Okay.
Uh, I mean, we just have to try and get it so we don't fall over. That's all. And now we're out. Ooh, we're still in. Okay, we've got loads of water. That's great. We need that to tick up as much as possible. Can we settle some more? Yeah, nice. The the drought has ended, so now everything's gone up. That's great. Is it time to settle again? And there you go. There's our delivery bill. Let's take um. Let's take receipt of that delivery. That's great. Uh, and yeah, we're going to need to rebuild everything. Awesome, man. So we're at abundant. That's great. And then we'll just um, we'll just um, grab another transport straight away. Okay, max of everything. This actually will go into our stock. So we actually do need some more some more clothing. I don't want to spend all that much money though. Hmm. Yeah, let's not worry about it just yet. Uh, and let's just keep rebuilding. I'm hoping That'll sort us out, our money situation, which is terrible. Because we still need to be settling. Okay, okay that's good. Okay, it's gone up to about... 5,000. That's nice. Okay, we've had our second shipment come in. Going to set all these because we do have a bit of cash. Settle, uh, and then we're going to grab another 30. Uh, rebuild everything, man. What is that? Oh, that bamboo grove. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Hey, we are close. Refugee settlement at 290. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, we desperately need more food. Uh, our, we need more money as well. Uh, but our surplus is pretty good. Settle three more. 20 grand. Do it. Uh, and accept another 30. Just because they really need to stop dying. <laughs> I mean, we are close. We're very, very close. Uh, oh, we've got a problem with our water again.
Uh, we've also got a problem with Tumulus. Uh, so I think I'm going to undo a few of these. There you go, three. Okay, so we're back down to six, so we will be. Refugees are feeling uneasy, however. So, security building cover is 87%. That's not too bad. Uh, but there are more building out here in this direction, so we should probably do uh, another watchtower. We have achieved our second stage goal. There's goal number two. So, I mean, population, I believe we've already got it up to 500. And a refugee settlement is the thing that we are falling behind on. Uh, and happiness is, is much better. We are at happy. And that needs to be satisfied. So we've, we've exceeded that. So let's just pop our thumbprint on. Okay, let's settle again. Settle it, man. Do it. We need to pay off our debts. We've totally achieved our goals. The only problem is we need to pay off our bank loan, which is going to cost us 200 grand, man. Now, winter is nearly finished. Uh, so, yeah, there's a bit of tax we have to pay. Okay, so the market is in town and I sold off all of our, all, like almost all of our uh, produced, uh, everything that got produced. So we're up to 360,000. I'm hoping that's enough to pay off a bank loan and not insta fail us. So let's leave the market, put it on pause. Uh, then, whoops, and we go into the bank loan. Let's repay our loan. Awesome. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll play some more Ballads of Hongye. All right, bye for now.